just where you came from. Last year when you got here, setup wise, right hip was a little high. You'd go back and the first move down, it was a little twisty. So that's what was making you steep. And then from there, you would drop the club a little behind your hands to try to catch it up. But it made you, it made you really steep into the ball, which is what you can, and it pulls. It put pull into play. All right, so what we did last year is all we worked on was making this, this little athletic move where we said, okay, when you play tennis or any sport you play, when your arms go back this way, your hip feels like it's going the other way. So your arms are going this way, your hips going that way. Those two offsetting forces, this one going back and this going here, puts pressure into the ground and it really makes your hip be stable. So it's really not going this way. Yes. It's just offsetting the momentum of everything that's trying to go this way. This feels like it's going that way and all it does is it puts force into the ground there. So you can't do that too much as long as there's force going into the ground in your right foot. Now if your right hip starts to move that way, if it goes too much, then you get like this. Okay, well now there's no force getting into the ground here. Does that make sense? Net? Okay. So, so you had that down perfect when you left. Okay, then when you, sh when you showed back up here a couple of months later, your right hip had moved back here. So now your right hip was up here. So it was high. Okay. Yes. And then when you, then when you, so then when you'd go back, you tried to move your hip back, but you were already in trouble. And then when you'd start down, it was back up here. So all we did is we moved your hip. And now as you went back, all of a sudden now you, you, you feel that, that pivot and this hip isn't moving this way anymore. Sure. Now, once you do that, all you got to do from there is when you're at the top of your swing, when you come down, the handle of the club comes down and all you're doing is getting the momentum of the club to work out this way. Vroom. And as soon as the momentum of the club does this, instead of doing that, that's drag. That's where most of the industry hangs out. And they're, try they're doing that because they're trying to accomplish this picture that they've seen. They want that. Well, I agree with that, but if you try to get there and you put it to speed, you're going to end up here, which now the club's behind you, and then you're going to have to catch it up. All right, so you get up here, and your hips where it's supposed to be, and it's, you're making your same athletic move, and your hands come down, or the handle comes down, and you feel like the club head goes out, and that just puts the weight of the club, the momentum of the club into the right arc, where it just runs into the back of the ball. Now, if you slowed that down, and you looked at it right here, it would look like the picture that everybody's trying to get. But I feel like I'm, hands are coming in here and I feel like the heel of the club is working out here. Well now I've got the momentum of the club in front of me. So once the momentum of the club gets in front of you, you can just whoosh, That's when you can turn on it and cover it and fire. See, the two, the old one and the new one. Okay, so first, Got to sit a little bit more this way. Right. And then I got to go back and feel like this move. Yep. Right? And the hands go this way. Right. And then from here, I have so much space right. that I can, I can just feel like I, I go forward toward the ball just a little bit. Right. Just a touch. And as that goes forward, this yes. handle comes down, down and the club feels like it's going out yes. there. And, and as soon as, as soon as you make those two moves, as soon as you do that, it's over. Frickin' it. swing's gone. Yeah. Because now all it is, is as the, as the momentum of the club takes off, it's just you allowing your center to stay up with the club. Okay. And all of a sudden, you, like you hit some of those shots, I mean, you just go, Phew, and you're going, God, that felt good. Yeah. There's freedom. Yeah. Well, there's freedom because you're, you, you're in sync with the momentum of the club. So really a golf swing is more about controlling and directing momentum than it is a golf swing. Yeah. A golf swing is just the title that we've given to what it looks like when you're doing it. But really what you're doing is you're directing and controlling momentum. Okay. And the way you were moving at it before, you were getting in the way of momentum and then you had to manipulate the club, which you were freaking pretty good doing. But now all of a sudden we do this and it frees up. Because now, you get the club doing that. Go ahead and do that again. So you get your set up there. 
and your right hip works, that's perfect. Then you start forward and your hands come to do that and that's it, game over. Now you do that, which you've got it in your full swing, then it's almost impossible, I Julie. There's so much space here. There should be. So much. And then, you, and that's one of the biggest things in golf is you cannot invade the space you're trying to swing your arms into. And, and then, see then, you coming in here and the weight of the club's going out and you actually feel like, okay, take a hold, I'll show you, I showed you this the other day. The momentum of the club is actually, when you come down, it's actually doing this. It's trying to go out this way. So you have to push back away from the club to keep it from pulling you over. <laughs> so as the, club, as the club starts going this way, you're actually feeling like you're pushing away from it. Those two opposing forces it <laughs> is what makes the club take off. So the momentum of the club's going out, you got all this space, it goes out, you're pushing away from it, and those two balance you out. If you do what you were doing, which you go back, and you start out here. Now, now the mo you've invaded the space, plus the momentum of your body is going the same direction that the momentum of the club's going. So then you start feeling like you have to, you can't get your balance. So balance is about offsetting forces. I like that line, Michael. Balance is about offsetting forces. It's not about balance in the sense of, okay, anytime you've got something swinging around, just take a hold of it again. If we exaggerate it, anytime you have something swinging around you and it's wanting to come out this way, you better be doing something to offset it. So you're, you're, if you're anticipating it go there, you're going to push back away from it to keep you from falling this way. That's what your golf swing should feel like. Now, if you buy into, what take a hold of it. Any other sport, if you think about it. You, but you, tennis. When you hit a tennis ball, the, the momentum of the racket's going here, and your body's, your body's sure. staying back. If it went the same direction that the momentum went, you couldn't hit it. It's the same in skiing. Sure. <laughs> you're directing the momentum of the skis through the hills. It's the same thing. If you went the same way that the momentum would go on the frickin' hill, you just die. Okay, so you're anticipating when you go into a mogul, your body's going whoo, and it's pushing away from it. And your skis are accelerating through the turn. Well, it's the same thing with that golf club. Right hip there, and that's all you have to do. And the explanation is when you do that, you're offsetting forces. And now you got the momentum of the club in the right arc, it can't twist or flip too much. No, but you twist a lot. Well, yeah. So much. Yeah. And you watch now, I, I like I say, I sit and watch these other gals. I watched them yesterday. And there's only a few of them that really get it. When I watch them swing, where the swing looks from a physics perspective and that it, everything looks synced out. Most all the women look so out of sync. They got <laughs> jumpy hips and flippy hands. Now their rhythm, because they're so soft, they can kind of make it work. But hardly any of them sync the whole thing out. You do. Julie does now. Sydney's getting better at it. Julie, Julie Yang, the new young gal I'm working with. She's really good at it. Uh, uh, oh, shoot. Uh, Lydia Coe is doing it on the Lydia Coe is doing it. Michelle Wee practices it. Michelle Wee practices it. Michelle Wee out there going like this with the club. And then she goes, Whoo. Okay, that's really good. To, that's really close to really good. Uh, uh, what's her name? Suzanne Pedersen. She does it? Oh, my God. Now, I, I'm not sure what's going on in her head, but she's, she's so good with it probably the best out there, which is why she hits it so damn good. Now, I don't know anything about her. She looks like she's so pissed off all the time that nothing that could possibly happen could be good. So I don't know her, but that's what she looks like. She just looks like she's pissed off at everybody for everything. <laughs> don't say anything bad. You might put it on YouTube. Sorry. <laughs> well, it's okay. I don't care. I mean, that's my perception. <laughs> there you go. Okay, I love this. You're, you're good. Mike. All right. This is it. This is very simple. It is. With my 
Okay, I've to go to Tucson. Go to Tucson. What's in Tucson? Well, I'm just going to go uh, with a friend. Okay. And I'm going to go for a hike tomorrow. And, um, oh, you mean you're not going to go out to the range and hit millions of balls to find your new game? <laughs> I'm going to go play Monday. <laughs> <laughs>